Hey, good evening, folks. This is Mike from Long Island Shaving, back for another video. Thank you very much for joining me today. For those that are new to the channel, thank you very much for being here. Please do subscribe. Please do comment. And for those of you that have subscribed to my channel, really do appreciate it. It means a lot. Have a really great shave in store for you guys today. It's actually a two-part review. New razor that I received in the den this weekend, which actually this is my second shave with it using a different blade. It's the Ellsworth Dracant, uh, B blasted, 100% stainless steel version. Um, I picked this up with the plus plate. Um, and just to kind of give you guys the blade gap on the plus plate from the website, it's 0.99 millimeters and the exposure is 15 millimeter exposure on the uh, blade. Uh, it's got fully covered tabs, which I do appreciate. I like razors that have the tabs covered on the side. So that's there. Uh, really nice knurling on this razor that I noticed just from the um, photos that I've looked online. The knurling and the grip with the satin finish is very grippy. And I really do like also the weight of this razor. Uh, that's why also I appreciate the stainless steel versions. I do have titanium uh, razors, but I didn't mind picking up the stainless steel. I know the titanium is out of stock. They should have them in soon. Um, but the weight on this, just to kind of give you guys an idea, is 97 grams is the weight of the razor and 89 millimeter handle. So that's the handle size. So it's got a nice size handle. Uh, so that's the razor I'm going to be going with today. I did my first shave on Saturday. Used a personal blue that I usually have a lot of success with. Wasn't too crazy about the shave on that blade. So what I decided to go with today, just to give it a try, I'm going to be shaving with this with a feather blade. Uh, so I'm going to be using the feather for uh, the razor. They also have the stand as well, which I think is really cool um, for the Dracon. So again, so far so good. Um, as far as the soap uh, that I'm going to be using today by McDuff's is Canoniscus Explorer. Uh, this is a soap that I've been kind of eyeing for some time, probably last six months. It was recommended to me by Tobin's Throwbacks. For those of you that don't follow his channel, Highly recommend that you guys do. Puts out some amazing content, very educational videos, uh, really helps the community. He's helped me so much over the past year, and he's offered recommendations to me on purchases that uh, I followed his lead on, and I've been very happy with it, and this is one of them. Uh, this is actually probably my third shave with uh, Canadiscus Explorer. Um, this is very, very heavy evergreen uh, forward. Uh, just to kind of give you guys an idea, the set notes on this is balsam, uh, pine, juniper berries, blue spruce, spruce, blue spruce, uh, fir needle, tree resin, and patchouli. Uh, so many different evergreens. Um, really great scent to use during the fall, and especially during the holidays. Um, I think this evergreen scent um, is very well done, and I do really do like this one a lot. I have the matching splash uh, that I'll use after the shave. Uh, again, as I mentioned, I'm going to be using a feather blade in the Dracant today. And I already have the uh, lather whipped up in my Hoffman shaving shave bowl um, with the Yaki Robin uh, synthetic knot uh, that I really like. I picked this up uh, about six months ago and I use it quite a bit. I like kind of the clear with the black on top. Um, so now I have a really nice lather whipped up already. All right, so with that, let's get right into the shave. Let's wet the face and we'll get right into it. And as I mentioned, I, I shaved with this for the first time um, last night, actually. No, maybe Friday night. And um, I want to get a different opinion based on using a different blade. So... I'm going to be trying a completely different blade today. Figured I'd go with the, what we all consider to be the sharpest blade in the business. And we'll use a feather for the blade. Yeah, I just got out of the shower a little while ago. It's a nighttime shave. I have to wake up early in the morning tomorrow. So I'm recording this kind of late right now. 
on Sunday night. So hope everybody had a great weekend. Oh, this scent is just phenomenal. You really get the balsam, pine, and all the juniper, juniper, all the juniper berries, juniper berries, juniper berries, blue spruce, fir needle, tree resin, and patchouli. That's all that's blended very well together in this soap base. And you can't go wrong with any soap from McDuff's. I have all the cabins, and I really do enjoy everything that they McDuff's puts out. All right, let's get going with the razor. So this is my first pass with the new feather blade. So what I noticed from the, now this is also a feather blade, not a lot of bit of blade field feel i can't even speak today not a lot of blade feel but from what i've been told this razor is very efficient and so far I'm noticing with this blade, I think I'm getting a little bit better experience overall. What I usually do when I get a new razor in the den is I use it for a straight week, sometimes even more, just to learn the angles and get a feel for the razor, because I think that's important. You got to give it a fair shot. Or you make your judgment. And what I will tell you guys so far, just from this first pass with the feather blade, it's actually a much better experience. So I do have many different McDuff soaps, uh, pretty much have all the cabins, fall, the fall cabin, fall cabin, spring cabin, summer cabin, uh, autumn cabin, and winter. And they are all good in their own way. Okay, really nice first pass, I like that. So it's absolutely true, you have to try different blades, guys. That Whenever you get a razor, you, ha you didn't have such a great shave. You know, pick up a sample pack. For those of you that have been what, shaving for a while, I'm sure you have a variation of many different blades to choose from. So you can try them just like I'm doing right now. But so far, so good. You know, prior to the shave, I was really thinking about going with Autumn Cabin, um, but I think it's not right. It's That's one of my favorite cabins out of all of them. But it's not the fall yet, and I want to save that one for the fall time. So once we get into late September, October, you better believe Autumn Cabin is coming back. But since I did get this a couple weeks ago, 
but I've been waiting for it for a while. And this is my third shave with uh, Canoniscus Explorer. It's a really nice pine scent. I want to give this one a run. All right, pass two. Again, not a lot of blade feel. But it does feel that feel efficient. A little bit different than what I'm used to. Speaking of feathers, I have to pick up more. This is my actually my last 10 pack that I have now, so gotta order more. So I can pass in. I'm just gonna rinse real quick and then I'm gonna do my last and final pass. Oh man, I love that scent. This is definitely a banger, guys. I heard um, Black Rock is also really good by McDuff's. I have that next on the list. But again, this is one I've been uh, considering picking up since Tobin's uh, referred it for about six months now. So. I really do like, you know, piney, evergreen type scents. I really do enjoy them. So I knew it, I, would, I would appreciate it. All right. Third pass against the grain. All right, a little bit louder on the against the grain pass. Great residual slickness on this soap. So far I'm liking the against the grain pass with this razor a lot. It's very smooth, so no question it's very efficient, the plus plate. They also have a standard plate as well. That's not as aggressive. More of a mild shaver. I mean, this feels mild, but it really, it's really not.
don't know if you guys have that, you know, on your neck or in some places, your face. Always a trouble spot. And for me, it's always right here. Hair goes in different directions, so you got to get it the right way. Yeah, I'm really enjoying this shave. This blade made the world a difference. I have some other blades that I'm going to try. So this was the feather. Um, what am I going to go with? I'm going to try next. I'm going to try a Kai blade as well. And then if anything, I'm going to... I don't have it here. I forgot the name of it. But anyway... I want to try some different blades that are known to be very, uh, very sharp. Can you rinse real quick? Okay, I took a couple touch-ups. I think I'm good, guys. All right, really great shave uh, with this razor. Um, I like it. You know, this is my second time using it. I'm going to continue to use it for the rest of the week. But again, you got to change blades, guys. If you have a bad experience with a new razor, with different blades that you normally use that are fine, you got to sometimes uh, different razors work better with different blades. So... You got to change it up once in a while. And that's what I did here. And I'm very pleased with the outcome of the shave. And with that McDuff soap, I mean, the soap base is extremely slick. So you get a lot of cushion. Really amazing lathers with, with McDuff soap. So that as well helps um, when you do these types of shaves. All right, so let's go uh, again, have the matching splash, and then we'll wrap this up. Okay. Oh, what a great scent. You know, the aftershave experience is always really great. At the end of a really good shave, very moisturizing. Uh, really, a lot of great ingredients at McDuff's. McDuff's um, doesn't have any alcohol in it, which is good. doesn't over-dry your face. Um, highly recommend it. Really great soap, great razor, and uh, I really enjoyed this. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I really do appreciate it. Again, if you didn't subscribe, please do so. Um, and again, for those that have subscribed, I really do appreciate your subscription. And um, until next time. Thank you very much, guys. Have a good night, and I'll talk to you guys on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.